It's been standard practice to thread a catheter through an artery in the groin when performing a cardiac catheterization. Now doctors are adjusting their sights on this diagnostic procedure. An improvement in techniques and an improvement in types of equipment that's smaller allows us to more easily and more safely go in through a puncture hold in the radial artery, the smaller artery in the wrist. So instead of making a deep puncture in the groin, doctors can make a superficial poke in the wrist. It's more accessible and in some cases safer. They can actually reduce the risk of bleeding because the artery is closer to the surface as opposed to a deeper artery in the leg. Doctors perform about 1.3 million cardiac catheterizations in this country a year. Up to 90% are done through the groin. Going through the wrist is technically more challenging, but from a patient's perspective, it's well worth it. Most of the patients like it if the catheterization can be done through the wrist because after the catheterization, instead of having to lie flat because of the puncture hole in the groin, they actually can sit in a chair if they wish. The recovery time is a bit quicker and certainly in terms of walking or riding a bicycle or that sort of thing, people are more comfortable doing it the next day. As equipment continues to evolve, doctors are moving from diagnosing heart conditions through the wrist to inserting angioplasties and stents. Going through the wrist may not always be the right choice. In certain circumstances, if an artery has a severe blockage, especially if the person is experiencing a lot of symptoms or in, is in the midst of a heart attack, there can be tremendous benefit by opening that artery up. When considering the wrist alternative, it's best to arm yourself with the advice of your physician. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.